Unit 17, pages 271 to 274, continuing with titrations. Now we're going to focus on a weak acid titration calculation. 45 milliliters of a 0.05 molar hydrofluoric acid solution is titrated with 30 milliliters of a 0.075 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Notice I only put the hydroxide and I left out the spectator ion sodium. Find the pH at the equivalence point if the Ka of hydrofluoric acid is 6.8 times 10 to the negative 4. So when I react these, the acid transfers the hydrogen over to the hydroxide, and we're going to get water and the fluoride ion afterwards. Because this is a weak acid strong base, when these two neutralize with one another, the conjugate base is going to be responsible for the pH at the equivalence point, which is why we're going to expect it to be slightly basic. So let's calculate how much of the fluoride ion we have after this reaction takes place. So 0.05 in 45 milliliters is my hydrofluoric acid and 0.075 molar and 30 milliliters is my hydroxide. I'm going to multiply molarity times milliliters and this is going to give me 2.25 millimoles of hydrofluoric acid. And when I multiply these two, I'm going to also get 2.25 millimoles of hydroxide. So notice that they react completely. We have equal amounts, which means that we're going to produce 2.25 millimoles of the fluoride ion in this reaction as well, because it's the hydrogen and the hydroxide that neutralize one another, and the fluoride ion is what's left over. Now I need to know the molarity of the fluoride ion, so I'm going to divide it by the total volume of 45 milliliters plus 30 milliliters. And when I take these numbers and do this math, I get 0.03 molar fluoride. Now I'm going to write an equation for the conjugate base. You place the fluoride in water as a liquid, and we're going to get hydrofluoric acid plus hydroxide. Remember we were given a Ka of 6.8 times 10 to the negative 4, and that's 4 hydrofluoric acid. However, we're going to be doing this ice table with fluoride, which means I'm going to need the Kb, which is equal to the Kw divided by the Ka. That's 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by 6.8 times 10 to the negative 4. We're going to get 1.47 times 10 to the negative 11. So I'm going to do my ice table with this as my initial concentration, 0 0.03. And we're not worried about the water. And we'll get 0 and 0 for our products. The change is minus x plus x plus x. And so at equilibrium, we'll have 0.03 minus x, x, and x. My goal is to find out what x is. Because if I take the negative log of X, which is the hydroxide concentration, I would get the pOH. And then from the pOH, I can get the pH. So let's solve this ice table. We'll get X squared over 0 0.03 minus X equals 1.47 times 10 to the negative 11. Notice I'm using the Kb, not the Ka. We're going to ignore this minus x, and we'll get a value of x equals 6.642 times 10 to the negative 7. Now this is my hydroxide concentration. So if I take the negative log of this value, I'm going to get a pOH of 6.178. And then if I take 14 minus the pOH, then I can get a pH of 7.822. And remember, we're expecting a slightly basic pH, which 7.822 is.